Hi, I'm Dr. Alex Tan. I'm one of the comprehensive ophthalmologists at the QE2 Eye Clinic. And today I'm going to be giving an introduction about the slit lamp, which is one of the most important tools that we as ophthalmologists use to examine the eye. Now the slit lamp is quite a complicated piece of equipment, um, but uh, it's important for medical students to become somewhat familiar uh, with the different uh, controls. Um, so first off, I'm just going to go over a few of the uh, more uh, important main functions. Uh, the main uh, knob to turn on the slit lamp uh, depends on the model, but this one uh, it happens to be down here and this also controls the light intensity. But uh, before we examine patients, it's also important to go over some of the controls in terms of uh, making sure that the patient is comfortable as well as the examiner. So the first part I'm going to talk about is just to get the slit lamp adjusted properly to examine the patient comfortably. So um, with the patient in the, in the chair, we're able to actually elevate and depress the chair. Um, there's often a switch on the side that makes the chair go up or down, and there's frequently a foot pedal as well. Now the slit lamp is often mounted on a table, which actually has a lock which can be uh, pressed in to raise and lower the, um, the slit lamp uh, apparatus. So it's important that we get the, the height correct for the patient. So Kieran here is going to demonstrate here. Uh, we're going to move the slit lamp forward. I'm going to bring the slit lamp, the slit lamp up such that it seems to be at a relatively comfortable position for her. Uh, the next um, adjustment in terms of making sure the patient is comfortable uh, is this knob here on the side, which adjusts the height of the chin rest. Now, ideally, we want to have the patient's um, lateral canthus um, in line with this black line here, which basically gives us uh, enough room to focus the slit lamp up and down. Okay, so you're comfortable there. Thank you, Kieran. Okay. Now, just to go over some of the basics of controlling the slit lamp, uh, number one, there is a little knob here on the side which unlocks uh, the slit lamp focusing apparatus, so this needs to be turned uh, counterclockwise to allow the slit lamp to move freely. Next, just for general focus, um, we can just slide the the entire apparatus uh, forward and backwards and from side to side. But for fine focusing, uh, there's a joystick control here which we can move um, in all four directions. Now to raise the slit lamp up and down, uh, we actually have this knob which if we turn it clockwise, it raises the, the focusing apparatus and if we lower it, it makes it, uh, or rotate it counterclockwise, it makes it go down. Um, so in terms of uh, adjusting the light on the slit lamp. The slit lamp is actually called a slit lamp because we're able to adjust the light to a very thin slit and adjust the dimensions. So there are a few important knobs with regards to this. Uh, this knob down here adjusts the width of the slit lamp and actually we can make the slit wider and thinner. Uh, so the slit width uh, is adjusted by this knob down here and by turning the knob we can gradually increase the, the width of the the illumination beam, which allows us to give some broad illumination, and by narrowing it, we can uh, turn it into a very narrow slit, which allows us to focus on various uh, structures uh, in the eye and gives us an idea of the depth of various lesions within uh, the eye by giving us an optical cross section. The height of the beam can also be adjusted by this dial up here uh, by turning it. Um, and there's actually a measuring reticule up here if we want to measure something on the cornea. Now in terms of focusing the slit lamp, uh, we basically look through the oculars after adjusting the oculars for our pupillary distance and then just grossly move the whole thing forward until things come somewhat into focus. Then we just uh, move the joystick forwards and backwards and from side to side to focus on different parts of the eye. Now one of the unique features of the slit lamp is that the illumination beam is actually uh, separate from the observation uh, beam and uh, the, the illumination is actually on this uh, rotatable uh, arm. So we're able to swing the light from various angles to get different cross sections of the eye. 
So often when we examine the eye, we start with the right eye, um, and we just adjust the width of the, of the beam. And by focusing back and forth, uh, we can actually focus on various structures within the eye. Now for greater detail, there's actually often, often a magnification dial as well uh, located here, which we can turn to change the magnification. So if we want more of a magnified view, um, or if we want more of an overall view, so those are the, the major features of the slit lamp. Uh, just a couple more things I'll just go into detail. There are a couple more knobs which are, uh, uh, provide a few of these extra functions of the slit lamp. Up top there's a dial uh, or switch here that puts in different folk, uh, uh, sorry, different filters in, in place which are used for various reasons. Uh, but I won't go into detail about that now. Okay, so the last uh, feature of the slit lamp that I wanted to highlight is uh, the cobalt blue filter, which is useful for uh, looking for corneal abrasions after we've stained a patient's eye with fluorescein. Uh, so with the slit lamp on, uh, the knob up top, if you turn it all the way counterclockwise, you'll see that this puts out a cobalt blue filter, which actually just allows the fluorescein dye to stand out and it helps us uh, stain for any abrasions of the cornea. So those are the basics uh, of the slit lamp. Uh, I've only gone into um, a little bit of detail about uh, some of the features. Uh, as ophthalmologists, we're actually able to view part of the fundus as well by using various lenses, uh, but that's a little bit more advanced than what a medical student will need to know. Uh, so the slit lamp, uh, at first glance, looks like it's uh, quite a complicated apparatus, which it is, uh, but it does take a lot of practice uh, to ensure familiarity 